Greetings and salutations to all you folks out there. We're back with Orbital Potato today. Hey, man. Oh man, I've I've got this bug and I've got it I've got it hard, man. I'm I'm being sucked into this game like nothing else. <laughs> if you check out the links in the description, uh, we just got done playing a game. We beasted Theta. Oh, it was an awesome game. You should totally oh, go great. check that out. <laughs> oh, so good, so good. But uh, Orbital's even got the ladder bug. Apparently, he won his first game on the ladder. That's right. I, I, it's really difficult calling it a victory. The guy was pretty bad, and I'm not pretty good, but I could recognize that he was bad, so I don't really feel like I'm, I'm, you know, some sort of great hero of Forged Alliance just quite yet. Well, Never just know, just so. take the win, I, you know. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all right, right, all right, I'll take it. Anyway, um, so we've this is going to be our fourth game together, and we're actually, I think we're going to start doing this on a pretty regular basis. Um, totally. Basically, we're just running 2v2s and Potato is picking up how to play the game. And once we get a little bit more advanced with it, we may pick up a couple more players here and there. But for now, we're going to attack this map. This is Rieger Highlands, which I have casted a couple of times. It's a very, very unique map. Um, it's got a weird blend of land and some puddles here and there that kind of interrupt the flow of units. And it's an asymmetrical map, meaning that... Um, the left side and right side slots are identical, but your immediate opponent does not have a symmetrical amount of mexes. And what that does is it means that people have to work together to win on the map. If you don't support your weaker player, you're going to go under pretty dang quickly. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So in this position, I am the weaker player because of, obviously because of my skill, but also because of the fact that and I'm in a slightly, uh, a slightly more sparse spot in comparison to you is that is that fair to say that is a that is an accurate description yes fantastic i'm glad i didn't manage to mess that up sweet all right good so what is what is the game plan like what are you planning to to do i'm going hardcore land rush to try and suppress everything that they're doing um, okay and then ultimately the goal is going to be to get commander upgrades i'm probably going to go for stealth and the gun upgrade and i know the last couple of games that we played together i've gone for the gun upgrade because the gun upgrade is just one of the more useful things that you'll come across um, uh -huh. however on a larger sized map such as this one is you're going to need a little bit something extra because you're going to see t2 and for the cyber commander that would be stealth um the stealth is going to let you Extend your commander a little bit further without so much fear of death. Okay. This is encouraging. Yes. I like this good news of not dying. <laughs> that is the goal of basically every game. Just as long as you in don't die. Just don't die. In fact, I would describe not dying as one of my top five favorite things to do at the weekend. <laughs> I think you're right up there with everybody else. <laughs> Not dying is the point of life, right? That is the ultimate goal of life. Well, that's a very philosophical question you're asking right there. I mean, not dying the point of life. I don't know. I don't know. Is it? Maybe it is. I don't really know. That's what we do on FAF. Not only do we play the greatest RTS ever made, but we also <laughs> answer all of life's questions. <laughs> all of the, the big ones that people want to know the answers to. All right. How do I, how do I get up to this little mound up here? How do I get up there? Do I just drive a truck up um, there? Drive an engineer? You may be able to park an engineer like right on the edge and build a factory up there. Or you can build an air transport and drop an engineer. That's a good shit. Um, one or oh, the other. Scum. Scumbag. You scum. Gotta make, gotta make units. Can't get along without them. commander up. That's what I'm going to do. All right. I need to stop, stop, making, stop making useless power gens. All that right, would be and good. Let's go. Let's go medium tanks. Is that a good shout? That is a good option. Um, oh, bomber came across just in time to meet my two anti airs. Hello. I am glad I built you. Um, Damn it! I know in one of your videos you were um, having kind of a little discussion with yourself about labs versus <laughs> tanks. I do remember that, and I was going to uh -huh. mention it in this one just so you have a little bit better idea. Um, the 
point of light assault bots is they're incredibly high speed. So you use them as a raiding unit, but they will never, ever, ever win versus tanks. Um, for the same amount of mass as a tank, you can build, I think, two light assault bots, which lose to a tank like 95% of the time. Uh huh. Um, so for your combat units, you're always, always, always going to build tanks. Okay. Okay. I can dig that. I can totally dig that. All right, Commander is up at the front there. All right, Commander, you go up here. Let's let's do a pro play. Let's build a, a mass extractor over there, and then let's go straight into a a land factory, a proxy land factory, if you'd like. I would like that very much, actually. Oh man, these pro plays, man. These pro plays. Oh, no, my engineer died. Stop it. What's this? Medium tanks? I can take up medium tanks for days. So, what's this whole thing about uh, getting a veteran level? Oh, you... Okay, his commander's over here. His commander, he had he clearly had the same brilliant idea of me, of building a proxy base, so his commander is literally, like, right there. Yup. And, uh, I'm on the run. Oh, you don't have to run away. Let me look, let me take a look at her here. Well, he has tanks and you don't, so yes, you might want to run away. <laughs> yeah. And since he's building tanks, probably want to shift some of your production more towards tanks than artillery. Okay, that's okay. I'm already full tank production. Okay, and now... Good dealio. Okay, now, how much energy will the gun upgrade consume? This is my the question. The gun upgrade, I think, is 200 power if you're not assisting it. Okay, that's fine. I can just about deal with that. Alright, you need to go here. And then you need to do a control, you know, shift, alt, right click. And do some... Would you look at that? Stuff. He's doing exactly the same thing I'm doing. Oh, uh, I the... do not have enough power. He's going to finish his gun upgrade before I do. Uh, well, how about... You, you get some extra power. You want some extra ah, power? Ah, I balance. There we go. I, I gave you some very, power. very much. That works. Oh, so... Oh, okay. So basically, I can just gift you a certain percentage of my power bar. Yes, yes. So oh, if you have okay. less than a full power bar and you click in on 50%, um, you uh -huh. give 50% of what is in your power bar. Ah, okay. So I thought I gave you a consistent amount of energy. No. I didn't think it was just a one-off dealio sort of thing, but... Clearly, I was I was the fool in this situation. All right, powering down on this gun upgrade. So I gotta get it done, or I'm dead. Okay, I'm gonna go for the gun upgrade as well, even though this oh, is yeah, probably very foolhardy. Yeah, it was a pretty dumb decision. You have one more power gift. Uh, I can give you a power gift. How much would you like? Please, please, please. Whatever you got. I'm almost done with gun upgrade, and he's advancing. There you go. Did that oh, work for you? he went for T2, and I have gun. This is beautiful. This is a thing of beauty. I think I'm going to kill him right here. You're going to kill him. All right. I hope. You know what? I'm going to try and give you some assistance. Well, like he has a jester, and colors? I don't have air, which is a problem. Uh, I have, I can, I can go into attack, uh, interceptors, even, if that would be of any That would be to a huge help, because he does have a gesture on me, and there are surely more to come. So, if I can get some, um, right. oh, stop attacking the ACU and attack the tanks. My ACU is not cooperating, and I'm shedding health very rapidly. I think I can get in the water, though, so I should be fine. Uh, I'll send some anti-aircraft anti -aircraft guns across there, although no guarantees that that's going to work. And I, the other... Oh, those are your bombers. Good, 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 good. Yep. Yep. Just just land in my little, my little two cents. Oh, this is the, not a water picture. puddle until I get way back here. Oh, crap. I think I'm dead. Don't do this to me, buddy. Please don't do this to me. I'm sorry. I'm you sorry. You cannot. You are... Oh my it's goodness. the freaking jester. Oh, oh, no! No, oh. he control k to kill me. Oh, damn it. You bastard. Damn, I don't even understand what control k is. Okay, so when your ACU dies, it does 2,500 damage. 
when your death uh -huh. nuke happens. So okay. I went under the water, and he got right next to me, and I only had 800 health, and he self-detonated <laughs> in order to kill me. Oh, wow. So basically, he turned it into a one versus one, and he's betting that his player is stronger than you are, which, no offense, but judging by the score, is probably an accurate assumption. Yeah, I would say so. so I he, would say so. He control K'd to take out the stronger player, and then he's leaving uh -huh. his teammate to clean up. Okay, you know what? That leaves me with a lot of responsibility that I am not equipped for. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> did you get the gun upgrade? Yeah, I did. Well, he has the gun upgrade as well, and he's oh, full well. health. So I think the best you can hope for is a mutual KO. So basically just chase him. Chase right. him and damage him and string your tanks in after and get all those T1 bombers, as many as you can, pounding his ACU. Because if you can do enough damage to him, you uh, will actually kill him when you die. Honestly, mate, I, I wouldn't have very high hopes. I don't know. You're within 2,500 health. If you can get some damage on those tanks and get right. the tanks away from you, or overcharge the tanks, one or the other. Overcharge? I do not have overcharged energy. Oh, nope. You're dead. No, I'm Boom. screwed. See, that oh, took, no. That took 2,500 off of him, but he still had 4,000 left, so. Ah, oh, that's a darn shame. That's a darn shame. Well, that was a good game. That was a good game. It was a valiant effort. I epic failed on that one. I think his self-detonation was, uh, wow, quite a move. Yeah, like, I, I didn't think he was that desperate, but it actually worked. I mean, you got to <laughs> give credit where credit's due. No, dude, he wanted his 10 minutes of YouTube fame. That's what he wanted, right? <laughs> exactly. I think uh, as far as self-evaluation goes, I waited a little bit too long to build my extra power. So I wasn't able to get the gun mm -hmm. upgrade as efficiently as I might have. And kudos to you for gifting power. That actually partially saved my butt. And then the other side of that is both of them started building air. And neither one of us was building air till later in the game. So mm -hmm. when that jester came in, the accumulated yeah. damage off of that gunship was what did me in. Yeah, well the, well, the problem was that I'd, I'd already had, I already had a significant, it was significant, I already three or four, you know, attack bombers, but mm -hmm. that wasn't what was needed. I needed to build interceptors to counter his air units. So I, uh, I made a mistake by going for an offensive unit when I should have gone for a defensive air unit. So that's my bad, but I'll know for next time. Yep. Hey, any loss, you can take any game and it's a valuable game as long as you learn something from it. Oh, so, that's that's very very true actually yeah you just good point pick up the pieces move on to the next game and hopefully do better from there on out exactly exactly i gotta say this is probably one of the more difficult ways to learn to play because you are <laughs> repetitively dying <laughs> well you're jumping from map to map you're not perfecting a build order on one map and then moving on so yeah right now this is probably way more difficult than people would typically something people would typically encounter, but it's going to make you a more flexible player overall because yeah. once yeah. you get these build orders down on all the different maps, you'll be able to move from map to map easily where other people, they see a new map and they have no idea what to do. <laughs> yeah, 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 I understand that. All right, well, that is our game. Unfortunately, it did end in a loss, but hopefully it was useful to some of you guys as far as a learning experience. Do not do what I did and hopefully take the advice, you know, the whole thing, do not do as I do, but do as I say. It was a pleasure having you back again, Potato. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. It's always good fun. Always, always. Again, click that link in the description. The other video is up there if you want to see a steamroll because that one was hilarious for the opposite reason. And as always, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.